In February, as part of a special report on veteran suicide, we told you that transitioning out of the military is one of the most challenging periods for a soldier and can lead to a downward spiral of negative thoughts and emotions. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, component of that transition is finding a new career. So in tonight's special report, we're asking what resources service members have to keep them on the path to success instead of self-destruction as a civilian. Every six weeks, 12 to 13 new students arrive at the Caliber Collision Training Center near Falcon. It's a unique internship program where service members in their final six months are allowed to spend four days a week training to fix cars. And when they graduate, a job and a new set of tools are waiting for them. I'm going to have somewhere to go. I'm going to have an income when I get out of the military. Intelligence analyst Jake Young is just wrapping up his eight years in the Army. Ana Lopez is wrapping up her four years. Both say finding a career in the civilian world was their top source of stress and anxiety after deciding not to re-enlist. I was nervous. I was thinking, of what, what am I going to do and how am I going to support you know, my family? you got to have money to put food on the table, roof over your head. Adam Baker helps transitioning veterans at Mount Carmel Veteran Service Center, a nonprofit that provides a variety of career and wellness services, classes, and job fairs like this one two weeks ago. Baker also struggled with his own transition out of the Army. A lot of times people in the military would kind of live in a pipe dream uh, where everything's going to be great, grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. You hear that term a lot. Um, but not expecting and not knowing what is really coming and what to and what to expect that is the, one of the biggest things that I had an issue with when I was leaving the military in 2011 veteran unemployment spiked to 7.7 percent that same year Congress made it mandatory that all service members leaving the military attend a three-day career counseling workshop and other classes the Department of Defense has also partnered with companies like caliber collision and in January of this year the veteran unemployment rate was just under 4%. Sherry Jenkins manages the transition program at Fort Carson, which handles roughly 450 departing soldiers every month. That's right, 450 a month. It's amazing um, the amount of programs and opportunities that we have for our transitioning service members these days compared to what they were even just a few years back. Over the last six years, 177 companies have partnered with the military to create programs like these, and nine out of 10 of those who participate walk away with a job. Every soldier we spoke with believes the Army does offer enough resources to get them back into the civilian workforce. They help you everywhere from resume to uh, um, the hiring process, interviews, how to prepare. They even uh, give you clothes uh, for interviews free of charge. So they're definitely doing a lot. The problem is service members aren't required to take advantage of all those resources. For example, the military recommends they start their career transition process a full year before they're out. But a recent government study found that more than half, 53%, didn't complete the minimum requirements until they had less than 90 days to go. Bang, 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 bang. And the reality that some of them will slip through the cracks after not utilizing those resources worries soldiers like Jake and Anna. There were a fair amount of soldiers in my class that they didn't take the program very seriously. They're just so excited about getting out. They don't, they don't plan their future. They were kind of just there to check the box. And uh, I don't think they really understand that that program, it's there to help us, help us transition out. At one point, they're not going to have nothing to do for themselves and they just end up doing things they shouldn't be doing. Things that could lead to substance abuse, depression, and in extreme cases, taking their own lives. Obviously providing all this career assistance at Fort Carson and giving companies all those tax breaks for hiring veterans isn't cheap, but neither is paying unemployment benefits to thousands of service members who are out of work. In fact, that expense is down 70% in the last eight years. So there is a success story to tell here. Mary.